You know, I always think now whenever I open that door, the devil's going to talk. But somehow different this time. Didn't I say the devil was going to talk to me? I knew it. Why does he always have to ruin the ship? Surprised I can oh, never mind. It's to this place. Dahlia. The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Coldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Am I dreaming? If not, how is Delilah doing this? Ah, uh, Dahlia. Whoops, Delilah. her backstory during the day jessamine and i played games in the tower but at night i'd go back to the servants quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel emperor daddy would visit and tell me if i was good next year i'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell me when? We were just playing. Young lady Jessamine, who is your It was her. Delilah's life. She broke. Wow, that's true. My mom was a jerk. Mother and I saw the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. He's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! The sentence is served, which will be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. Hmm, so she wants me to, uh... be like her. It's hard to know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. Well, that was interesting. Apparently she is marked by the outsider. Oh, I'm sorry, the devil. When I saw what they'd done to Anton Sokolov, I wanted to hurt everyone who'd helped Delilah and the Duke of Sirkonos pull off their coup. Sokolov is the man who made whale oil into a weapon, who turned back the plague, and now he's barely able to speak. The hands that painted the most powerful men and women of our time shake too badly to hold a spoon. When he does talk, he's going to give me a name. The next step along the way to Duke Luca Abel, then Delilah herself. A name. That's all I need. I'm with you, 
even in the void, if only I could do more. Mother? That wasn't a dream, was it? Am, Am I, I to blame, blame for Delilah's bitterness? All this is her doing, and she'll die for it. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight. I, I feel my time drawing to an end. Soon. I wonder if we're nearing the end. It sounds like we are. Oh, well. Don't need to do that. Delilah Copperspoon, or is it Caldwell? Not quite. <clears throat> Anton, you've had three days to rest. Tell me how to kill Delilah. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne, and my father is missing. This is Anton Sokolov, the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sir Konos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's <coughs> the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who well, knows that's her sister. Of, or what she's up to. Maybe not. They look somewhat like each other. Wake me when Karnaka starts to burn. What a painting that will make. Beat me at the skiff when you want to set out for the Royal Conservatory. Don't have to tell me twice. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Not yet. All right. Just meet me back at the skiff when you're ready. Just to make sure. I always feel like they're going to sneak in like a, a little ruin here or ready there. Yes, let's go. Alright, well, chapter 5. You know, I hope this game isn't as short as number 1, because number 1, it was really short. You wanted uh, to have it keep going, if that makes any sense. Either way, this game is hella fun. Besides the load screens, they're not fun at all.
There'll be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth <coughs> from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. Alright, a ton of bone charms in that one little area. Uh, so what's the mission, though? Okay, well, I'm supposed to go to there. I think that means it's optional. So that's exactly where I'm going. Because it reminds me of good times. So what's the point of buying wood from a country you never visited? Lady Shersha has money. So she gets the wood she wants. There's no um, if I see anything on uh, No. First for a fight. You still can, stranger. She's wounded. <laughs> finish her. Stand okay, okay well. Take that. I probably should just die right now. You know coming yeah, up. Yeah, run, coward. I'll break your face. <laughs> What? what is this? I'm trying to parry this guy, man. But it is not going well at all. I really, really, really suck at parrying. Do do. Uh, so I'm basically right there. Every ruin stuff is all over there. Except for that. That is definitely a ruin that I do want. If I can get to it, I I do want it. Welcome. Obviously, you are someone with refined tastes. Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. I'll think about it. See anything you like? What a pleasant surprise to see you again. Hmm. Uh, I want to. Blueprints. Come in, my friend. Always a delight to see you. Was a safe combination. Shopkeeper's cousin. 